In this video, I am going to talk about scripts and styles plugin. As of now, it has 30,000 active installations. Hi, my name is Pankaj and I am a WordPress developer. A lot of clients struggle to add Facebook Pixel or Google Analytics code to their site and conversion pixel to their thank you pages. So let me show you how to add custom JavaScript codes or CSS codes to a specific page. This is the site and I am already on the installation page. I'll just go and activate it. So once we activate it, by default it comes to tools menu. I open the menu and here are some of its features. You might be familiar with this plugin code snippet or we used to call it insert header footer plugin. So when it is installed and when I input something in here like a script or something, then it filters the data, it checks for input validation and then it saves the data to database. But what this plugin does is it gives admins. I am an admin of this site. So it gives me unfiltered HTML and no input validation. So what this means is if I have a security plugin like WordFence or Sukurai security, this code will be directly saved in the database. And I won't get a warning like uh, this is a wrong action and you need to whitelist this action and all. Uh, if you know this, then that is a real challenge when we are adding custom codes in the website. So it, this gives me uh, unfiltered HTML. Here I can write text. It will go straight in head section. Uh, end of the body tag then we have site wide css styles and then same for javascript in head as well as footer or before body and if my code is dependent on jquery or something then i can also select the jquery here so this will load first and then my code will load this is very useful feature and let's come to hoops section what hoops means is uh, it's meant for short course if there is a php or javascript or html or any output that i don't want to do but i want to build a short code that someone else from my team or some other user who is not admin can use it on the site then i can create the code here just give the name let me give you an example and just write the code and save the changes so the hoops name is test code and i can copy this short code and give it to my teammate and he can directly use this short code on the site and what short code will do is it will do this this is just a test code not a perfect code i'm just giving you an example uh, let's come to the settings now so the meta box by default is hidden uh, we can override this from screen options of each page uh, menu position is by default tools and if i don't want it in tools i can just use options general and it will come in settings here tools will be empty and it also gives us a lot of other options like i can use it in themes and all i like basic tools option then we have hoops widget uh, widgets are you know functionality of wordpress so if i add new widget i don't see a hoops option here if i enable this hoops widget then all the hoops all the short course that i create here or in pages like here i can access them directly in widgets and this is very cool feature another thing i like is delete data when uninstalling a lot of times plugins leave a lot of clutter and data when they get uninstalled but this one is deleting data so i will select yes here let's come to the code mirror demo this is just a page for code editing it is very helpful with all the colors and all i can change the styles here just select what you like i like this one here so when i'm writing some code i can see if my code is right or wrong before i go save them here and then let's come to the last tab uses this is again very very helpful suppose i have a lot of pages and a lot of posts and i don't know where i am using this plugin for example i have this plugin on about and contact page then this will show it here so i can see uh, where to delete the code before uninstalling this plugin very very helpful so if you want a code that you will add on all the pages of your site then you can directly write html code here uh, for example quotes of let me change the color first let's go with default one 
and for example uh, google search console code meta tags all will go directly here html style and you can also add custom styles and scripts but you will need to add this code before writing scripts and if you don't use html field then you can write css code directly here custom css same goes for javascript this is for all the codes that you want to run on all the pages of your site and if there is a specific code for example you come and add facebook pixel code here but the conversion code on the thank you page should go to the pages and you come to the let's suppose about page is the thank you page then you will come here in scripts and add your script code here for conversion track same for styles there are certain times when you want to add a css code only to a specific page this is a great way to do here so let me explain single page options also by default it comes with scripts and if you are done with the changes you could either hide it here or you could go here preferences panels and turn it off here so the default panel is scripts i can write javascript codes directly here this will go in head this will go before the body closes uh, same for css css always goes in head so there is only one option uh, this is very cool feature i can add another body class to my body page for example let me come to this page about page you see it here if i inspect it there is a body and it has a lot of classes here if i add another class let's say creative opro and update the page i'll refresh it again and you will see that there is this creative opro class in the body and, and i can now use this class to add my custom css or javascript codes and if i disable it here you will see that creative opro class is gone this is very very helpful same for post classes you will see that there is this article and it has a lot of classes so if i add this creative pro class here you will see this creative pro here again this helps me a lot when i am customizing this page and adding css i'll remove it for now and let's use include scripts so again if my code depends on jquery or some other script then i can include it here it gives me page specific options also and let me remove this let's come to the short codes again if i want to build a short code here i can just use a name and define what the short code will output finally then comes drop down this is for menu you can see the menu here let me inspect it so the menu has different classes and all this helps in again adding classes remove some element inline or block type or something I, i can customize menu of this page from here and finally we have an html option for adding html codes in this specific page i can do from here let me give an example let's see where this comes up creative pro wordpress up. so since it is html and it comes at the end of the page but we don't want to use this this is mostly used for meta tags for google search console and all you might be wondering what is a google search console meta tag it looks something like this it is a html code and it goes directly to the html head not on single page but on the main html page here now the tutorial is over and i have a question for you do you want to customize your wordpress website so that it looks unique and give you more conversions than regular plain copy pasted wordpress website then hear this out over the last 10 years of working with wordpress websites we have identified over 50 wordpress customizations that when done right uh, these make your site look unique and increase conversion rates and we have built a pdf report where we show you what the customization can do for you and how to do it on your website and if you want to download it just click to free ebooks enter your name and email address and we will send it to you via email thank you see you in my next video